Okay, welcome guys. Uh, I've been working on the uh, FLIR E4 upgrade uh, for a couple of days now and uh, I finally uh, did the upgrade. The upgrade uh, went well. Um, thanks to to the guys on the EV blog. Uh, they they did a great job and uh, the information over there are priceless. Uh, so many posts, so many people uh, writing stuff and uh, and helping around. So yeah, I was uh, able to upgrade the the resolution and uh, as well the the menu the menu um, uh, upgrade <coughs> anyway um, the thermal uh, the thermal resolution is now uh, 30 20 uh, and 240 320 and uh, 240 and uh, I also uh, re readjusted the the lens so it can focus uh, like a macro really close uh, and I'm gonna show you guys what this can do uh, it's uh, I'm gonna use it to show you guys 20 milliamps uh, short to ground which is uh, a pretty small uh, short actually and it produces just a little heat uh, it's really dif difficult to feel it uh, by hand and uh, let's go ahead Uh, I'll do my best to keep the uh, camera stable so you're now watching the board and I'm gonna press uh, my DC power supply right now and you can see it's it's not even 20 milliamps it's less and you can see uh, of course there are a couple of settings you can play with, like the rainbow setting. It's a difficult uh, palette. And again, this sort of ground, this is a backlight IC of an iPhone 6. And this sort is just so small. Anyway, uh, yep. Uh, the thing uh, I want to do now is to make a a good uh, stand for for the camera so I can use it uh, without having to hold it so yeah uh, I'm gonna post uh, some links on the description uh, all credits uh, 
to the boys of on the EV blog. Uh, but uh, they made this uh, upgrade available to everyone. So yeah, that was it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you soon with some new vid new videos. Uh, be sure to check the description. I'm gonna put uh, some interesting stuff about this camera there. Uh, and uh, yeah, please uh, subscribe. And I'll see you soon.